morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Band here, and today I'm bringing you a Attila battle for, uh, it's been a while since I brought you one of them. Um, yeah, so Total War Attila, uh, it's a two versus two. We've got, uh, two Roman enemies that are playing, and we've got a Hun player, and I'm playing as the White Huns. And as you can see, the, uh, battle is getting underway, but, uh, quickly I've got eight units of horse archers, Hun of horse archers. And I've got, uh, I believe, five units of step cataphrats, or six units of step cataphrats, and a step warlord. Uh, let's just pause it here so you can see the other armies. Uh, my ally over here, so he's bringing a lot of step mounted bows, I believe, uh, eight units of them. And then he has the uh, step cataphrats, shamans of the eternal sky, step lancers, and step warlords, so kind of a mix of cab there. And then he's got some boss foreign infantry. Looks like four units of them, and two Siri warriors. Uh, so we can take a look at them if you would like. So pretty standard for the Huns, nothing uh, flashy or crazy. Um, and then for the enemies, uh, both of them playing as Rome. So they've got some of these uh, Kamitsiensis spears. So he's got some of those on the flanks. And then he's got uh, four units of Legio Kamitanses. And he's got four units of Ballistarii. And he's got some Equites Promote. Uh, all silver chevrons. He's got his general. Uh, more of the spears on the flanks. And yeah, so he's got five units of cav. And that was smart for the Roman players to do because we are a very cav-heavy faction. So good on them. Uh, the next player, he's got some Scole Palantane. Uh, so he's got four units of them. And then we've got... Uh, Western Auxiliary Palantina. So they're they're actually pretty cool. Cool spears. And we've got some ballist, uh, Ballistarii. So we got another four units over here. We've got some Armegeri def, Defors... De, defensores. There we go. Look. So these are kind of like uh, elite heavy infantry for Rome. So I think he's got uh, yeah, four units of them. He's got some more spears on the side. Actually, has five units of them. And his general's bodyguard. So, yeah, we'll start this battle off. Um, so, yeah, you can see that I'm pushing on the either flank with the uh, Hanekors archers, kind of just harassing the enemy. I know with uh, Rome, uh, they take a very defensive approach. And uh, you can see he's already starting to box himself here, as well as the other player. He's in shield wall. He's just going to sit there. Um, so I'm going to try to micro around and kind of uh, get him a little bit out of position. And he is moving forward his crossbows, which is good. Uh, but I don't think they have that good of range because they weren't able to really get a good uh, shot on me. And I'm kind of moving my troops over to face here. Meanwhile, I'm kind of harassing the, uh, the uh, enemy of my ally, trying to pull some of the horses away from the flank, uh, enabling him to kind of just focus on less troops over here. Because it, look at this Roman player. If he wants to just box himself in like that, that's totally fine. But uh, we got a good charge into some of the... Well, not a good charge into some of those spears, but we're going to pull back because he pushed his spears up. Uh, pushing on the flanks with my horse archers, continuing to rain down fire. And uh, again, uh, just kind of kiting the enemy here. Uh, on the other side, it's kind of a stalemate. Uh, they're... they're kind of picking away at the uh, forces of the other Roman player. He is going to respond by moving forwards his archers as well. As far as the balance of power, it's pretty even. Uh, obviously, they have way more men, but it's because the, the cab is just... Is uh, Do we help? The cab is just less uh, units in... Or less uh, men in one unit, right? So, so you can see that he peels off his... Uh, his um, melee cap here and I was really shocked like they were really fast like they are catching up to my horse archers and I believe he does actually catch one of them as well yeah you can see just completely outruns my uh, horse archers so good on him there uh, so I'm kind of stuck to commit uh, this one and he's bringing another two over here on the flanks as well and they are, not getting out, they are not getting uh, out of the way that's for sure um, they decided to pull, push up and attack my general, so that's when I push forwards with uh, some of my lancers. Get a nice charge here. Yeah, they are all dead. No way that that, uh, that unit is surviving. 
And on this side too, you can see we're really whittling them down with the uh, flaming arrows. Yeah, so they're wavering. And uh, over on this side, though, he's uh, boxed my horse archers into a corner. So uh, that was really good play by him because I pretty much lost four horse archers just in this cab battle. Uh, I just did not know that the Roman cab was so fast. That was crazy. That they caught up to me like that. But uh, yeah, so I see the that uh, broken, I'm for I lives. see that my player is just gonna box himself in like this, and all of his cab is focused elsewhere. So I'm pushing all of my troops over around the flank of the first Roman player. Uh, this is going to, you know, kind of force this Roman player to actually move up and do something. And uh, now it's kind of a 2v1. Like, look, all of this heavy infantry, they're not going to be here for a long time. So you can see uh, I do kind of shoot at his general to try to get him out of the way. And then I commit some of my uh, step cataphrats to lock him in. And with another unit, I kind of peel off one or two other units just to wreck his uh, his uh, missiles. And uh, you can see that the uh, infantry here is still in shield wall. If you look over there, uh, you can see that uh, he's pretty much broken all of my horse archers. So that was a good play by him. Really broken good play. And fleeing. So yeah, you can see uh, he, he wanted to disengage his general and I was more than happy to pull away my cav to deal with all of these skirmishers. And uh, we're going to continue putting on the pressure here. You can see all of my cav here is just kind of circling around, uh, just making the Roman player unsure of his next moves. <laughs> the other Roman player is quickly responding. All of his men are pushing forwards. But I'm going to box him out here and hold him back. And yeah, you can see, see, I'm pulling his spears out of spear wall. And I'm coming in on this side as well. I'm not sure if he notices this side, but let's take a look here. Oh, they come out of spear wall, but it's too late for them to turn around. And we catch this one as well. So that was a good shot. Um, I think that that does route that unit. Um, but you can see the other army, or the other Roman player, his cab is uh, free. But he's kind of not wanting to engage here. Um, I do kind of, you know, skirmish them away. Um, and he does want to come after my uh, horse skirmishers, but the, the boss foreign infantry, they are just using their jabbies, but they're not really affecting uh, many of these heavily armed Romans. Sorry that I'm moving around all over the place. I just kind of want to show you, like, the entire battle and what's going on. So I use these four horse archers again to try to pull away um, all of his ar uh, his cav. And you can see that they are quite weak already. Um, so that's a good sign for us. Yeah, just unleashing into them. They're trying to spread out there. I, I do kind of peel off one of my units to kind of not get us all caught in a corner again. And he does pursue with this uh, unit of uh, Palantane. But uh, yes, the infantry has collided now. See the heavy fighting going on. I think these boss board infantry will be able to chew through these, uh, these Legio Comet Tances. Forgive me, I can't really pronounce them that well. But uh, again, I'm kind of, you know, see, I, I'm pushing on the flanks here where he's trying to, to box um, himself in to keep away from rear charges. Uh, so I'm just slowly kind of breaking his flanks. Um, on the other side, the infantry for the Roman player is finally showing up. And uh, you can see uh, my horse archers, we actually are winning this battle. I do lose, I believe, another unit or two. Broken and fleeing. Um, but it's at the cost of all, pretty much all of their cav. I think they have, they have their two generals and one unit of cav over here, and that's about it. So the balance of power is slowly slipping into our favor, but uh, a lot of my infantry, or sorry, a lot of my horse archers have run out of ammo at this point. 
So I'm pretty much just trying to get good rear charges where I can find them. This one right here should be pretty good. Uh, it was okay. It was okay. We managed to break that, that unit, those spears, so that was good. You can see my allies, horse archers here, firing. Let's uh, keep the cheering down till we win, you guys. You can see they've got some uh, some archers over here as well, firing their crossbows. That will be deadly for those horse archers. Yeah, I'm losing a lot there. And you see that he's filtered in a spear unit as well to, to try to keep them from charging. Um, I've won on this flank over here, so we pretty much just destroyed the first Roman player. So you can see that I'm trying to filter in my men into the rear to kind of break their morale. Just trying to circle the enemy, kind of create havoc, make him micro more than he's used to. But I believe that that's... This is it so far, yeah. So he's he's pretty much down to a handful of uh, the the other player. He's down to he's got his infantry and he's got a couple units of archers. But you Our can see that that charge victory. probably wasn't the Our best move because the um, they, they I did lose two display. units there. But that's all right. We're still uh, still doing okay. The general for the one player is now committing. They just ran right through it, actually. Oh, they're breaking. <laughs> That's why. Okay. So, yeah. The rest of the infantry has been engaged at this point now. Um, actually, they should come over and engage. But uh, I'm just uh, being an annoyance. Like, see? Tying up his spear units. Like, trying to zone me out. Like, this is two more spear units that he can't have into the battle right now. And he's never going to catch my cap. Oh, you do see that I do get one of my uh, Hunnic Horse Archers in here. I break one unit of the crossbows, and then I go for the second before he even peels off one of his units to deal with that. So that was a good play there. But yes, yeah, so you can see my ally is very healthy still, still far, so that's good. I was going to say thus far, not still far. So, uh, yeah, we got the one general over here and the second there. And then my general is still alive and my uh, ally's general is still alive. So, uh, yeah, I'm peeling off this, this unit of horse archers here. We're going to get out of there. Again, just be annoying. You know, he's had to pull another two units of infantry out just to zone out this uh, depleted unit of horse archers. And it's really no fault of them. Like, I understand that dealing with a, a horse-heavy factions are hard. Um, but at the same time, dealing with heavy infantry factions like Rome is quite hard. Like, uh, there's really no contest when it comes to their infantry. So uh, you have to combat it with skirmishing and, and with, uh, you know, strong rear charges. But... Uh, yeah, I understand what he's doing. He's really trying to just zone out my cav, and then he's really relying on his infantry to, to win the day here. Oh, and he's going in for a charge here, my ally on these uh, skirmishers. So yeah, they're going to be out of the battle for sure. And then he counters uh, the Roman player with his general. And I see that, so I'm going to try to peel some of my units around to, to get that general out, as, out of the battle as well. Ooh, nice rear charge there. That was good. Yeah, they're surrounded. Surprise! That unit is uh, that unit is holding though. Uh, but there we go. The one general uh, breaks. He was killed. So you see that the the remainder of his infantry is breaking. 
but uh, his army was pretty much wiped out at this point. So, again, I make another mistake uh, here. I charged into I charged into some spears that were really spread out. I thought that I could uh, break the morale, but I just ended up losing uh, two units of horse archers because of that. So, yeah, not a good idea to charge into spears. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. But uh, so you can see the balance of power. Like, it's still not really towing into our favor. But at the same time, we're about down to even odds now, as far as men. So that is quite good for us. But yeah, you can see the rest of my allies' infantry is pretty much crumbling. But, oh, we're going to get a good charge here in the back, looks like. Nice. That was actually a really good charge. I'd be surprised if that didn't uh, start some wavering. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, I don't know if this unit is going to break or not, but yeah, it does. Nice. That was a good charge, and he did manage to get his uh, cab out of there unscathed. And uh, over here, we're, we're really desperately trying to kill this general. I throw in a unit of my step cataphrats to tie up these spears so they don't come to the aid of the general. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's losing this battle for sure. And I think that's it. I think he is, yeah, he breaks at that point. So we pull away all of our cav out of the range of the spears. I do use, uh, lose my last step cat of rat, but that's okay. I'm pretty much down to my general now. Our men have given up but uh, running for their my lives. ally does have, you know, quite a few horse archers left. And you can see that these infantry are going to try to form up for one last stand. Yeah, so he's got uh, three units of swords and it looks like two units of spears. But uh, this unit of spears is getting chewed up by arrow fire. Yeah, so they're pulling back. They're going to try and uh, hold up right here. This last ditch effort. We did break the second unit of spears that was trying to reinforce this line. And then I've got my general at the back here, and I do make a really, really daring attack into these two weakest units. And they don't turn around in time. Yeah, so that was an excellent charge there. And then I pull my general out right away. But you can see I broke two of those units with that charge. So that was that was an epic, epic charge. So now they're down to two units and one spear. Two units of uh, swords, that is, and one spear. <laughs> I, w I was celebrating a little bit after that charge. I was like, that was that was deadly. And then you can see my ally is kind of running down some retreating troops, but that's not really necessary. They're already uh, gone off the battlefield for good. The second unit of swords is breaking, so I send in my general to try to catch them. But uh, they kind of they kind of uh, regain their footing, so I pull back. wavering again. Their morale is really low. Well, I'm going to 
try to get a charge in the back here, I guess. I'm still kind of running circles around them. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Stay away. Just keep them out of their shield wall. That's all that matters. So that the archers can do the rest. Yes, they're going to try and pull back, but you can see that they're losing men. They quickly tried to form shield wall, but... You can see my general here. I do go for one last charge. Try to get them in the back. And it was a good charge there, but the unit was just too healthy, I think. And there, I think my general was killed right there. General is dead. The There's men my general. Are losing faith. The so men yes, my army is completely bleed. broken at this point. But uh, you know, it's they're more my allies more than capable of taking out the last two units here. So we'll just kind of sit back and uh, relax, and we'll check out the stats once the battle ends. And there we go, guys. That's the end of the battle there. So hopefully you enjoyed it. So taking a look at the stats here. Um, so this is my army. So my lancers did quite well. This one getting 200 kills. And uh, my horse archers, half of them doing well, like the first four. But the second four, not so much. Uh, for my ally, uh, his infantry did pretty well. And his horse archers pretty well. This unit, actually, of Step Cataphrats, 256 kills, so that's really awesome. And uh, then for my enemy players here, um, I think this was the first army. But, yeah, you can see really suffering in the kill department, but just because he was, uh, it was a two-on-one for, for his section of the battle. So, And then the second army that showed up later, uh, this unit getting 128 kills, so that's good. But just not enough, really. Uh, but his cab doing really well against my horse archers, pretty much slaughtering them. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this battle. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Attila content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.